Good day everyone! Once again, this is Teacher Grace, your online math teacher. So today, I am going to discuss this topic, divide decimals with up to two decimal places. Alright, example. Six tenths divided by two tenths. Alright, so ang rules sa pagdi-divide ng decimal number, so ang lagi mong titignan ay yung divisor divisor, no? Kailangan ito ay maging whole number. So, para maging whole number yan, we have to move the decimal point to the right once. So, isang beses lang, ano? So, kung nag-move ka kay divisor ng isang beses, ng decimal point, no? So, that means, dito sa dividend, ay mag-move ka rin ng isang beses. Okay. And then, dito sa quotient, please, lagyan mo na rin yan ng decimal point. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. So, that means ito na yung sagot niya, 3. So, kahit wala ng decimal point dito ay okay na. So, ito na yung quotient, 3. Okay, another. 27 hundreds divided by 3 tenths. So, ganun uli yung procedure, ano? Gagawin nating whole number si divisor. So, paano yun? Mumove natin decimal point sa kanan ng isang beses. Okay? So, dito rin sa dividend, isang beses din. And then, yung decimal point dito sa quotient, pwede na rin siyang ilagay. So, 2 divided by 3 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2, bring down 7. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So, 27 minus 27 is 0. Then, the quotient is 9 tenths. Another given. 35 divided by 2 tenths. So, same procedure. Gagawin natin whole number, si divisor. Mumove natin decimal point sa kanan ng isang beses. So, yung ating dividend, wala siyang decimal point, no? Nakita nyo, whole number siya. So, kapag whole number, nandito yung decimal point, no? Sa kanan ng ones digit. So, i-move din natin ito ng isang beses. That means, kung ano yung gagawin mo kay divisor, gagawin din kay dividend. So, mag-add ka ng zero dito. Then, afterwards, pwede ka nang mag-divide. So, 3 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Bring down, 5. 15 divided by 2 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down, 0. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. So, 10 minus 10 is 0. Then, the answer is 175. Alright, another. 2 and 4 tenths divided by 3. So, as you can see, yung ating dividend, ito yung decimal number. Ito namang uh, divisor natin ay whole number. So, that means, no need for you na mag-move ng decimal point kapag yung ating uh, divisor ay whole number naman na. So, pwede ka na mag-divide. So, yung decimal point dapat sa quotient place ay tapat dito sa dividend. So, 2 divided by 3 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. Bring down 4. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So, 24 minus 24 is 0. Then, the answer is 8. 8 tenths. Another. 1 and 23 hundreds divided by 1 and 2 tenths. Alright, so since na yung divisor natin ay decimal number uli, no? so ganun uli yung procedure, magmumove tayo ng decimal pen sa kanan ng isang beses. Sa dividend ay ganun din. Ayan. So yung decimal point sa quotient, please, pwede nang ilagay. 
So, 12 divided by 12 is 1. 1 times 12 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. Bring down 3. 3 divided by 12 is 0. 0 times 12 is 0. So, 3 minus 0 is 3. Add 0 here and then bring down. So, 30 divided by 12 is 2. 2 times 12 is 24. 30 minus 24 is 6. Add 0 here. Bring down 0. So, 60 divided by 12 is 5. 5 times 12 is 60. 60 minus 60 is 0. Then, the answer is... 1 and 25 thousands. Okay, another. Four and three uh, tenths divided by one and two tenths. Okay, same procedure. So, gagawin nating whole number yung divisor. So, nag-move tayo ng isang beses sa divisor, sa dividend din, ganun din, ano? O, yung decimal point sa quotient place, ay ilagay na rin. Alright. After nyan ay uh, mag-ano ka na, mag-divide ka na. 43 divided by 12. So, pag ganyan, halimbawa, kung di mo kayo oral, pwede kang mag-scratch. Halimbawa, 12 times 3 kaya yan. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. O, 36 siya. E, paano kung sa sa 4 ba? 12 times 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4. So, sumobra. So, ibig sabihin, 3 lay sagot dito. 3 times 12 is 36. Okay, then, isusubtract mo, magbabarawin ka dito. So, 13 minus 6 is, is 7. Ayan naman, 0 na, no? And then, mag-add ka ng 0 dito, bring down 0. So, 70 divided by 12. Ano kaya yan? So, mag-scratch ka na naman. A 12 times 7 kaya? 7 times 2, 14, 7. Times 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8. O, sa 6 kaya? 12 times uh, 6, 6, 12, 6. O, 72. So, lumagpas na. So, that means, ano lang yan? Sa 5 lang siya, no? So, 60. Ayan siya. So, 100 divided by 12. O, may 12 times 7 na tayo. So, 12 times 8 kaya. 8, 16, o, 96. So, sa end siya bale? Sa 8. 8 times 12 is 96. 100 minus 96 is 4. So, kapag naka 2 decimals ka naman na, okay na yun. Ito na yung sagot. 3 and 58 hundreds. Alright, paano naman kung kung 2 decimals yung nandun sa divisor, no? O, ganito siya. Let's say, 8 and 2 tenths divided by 22 hundreds. So, since na need natin, di ba, gagawing whole number yung divisor, so that means dalawang beses kang magmabog ng decimal point ito. 1, 2. So, dito rin sa dividend. 1, 2. So, yung decimal point natin sa quotient. So, dito na. Ayan na. After nyan, pwede ka nang mag-divide. So, 82 divided by 2 is ilan siya. So, pwede kang mag-scratch. Hindi, pag ganun, ano? So, sa 22 times 3 ba siya? So, 66 ito. 22 times 4 ba? E di 88. So, lagpas. Kaya dito tayo sa 3. So, 66. So, pagkayari, mag-subtract ka and then mag-borrowing. 12 minus 6 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. And then bring down 0. So, 160, 160 divided by 22. Ako, sabi ko nga, kung hindi kayang i-oral, ay mag-scratch, ano? So, uh, paano siya? Sa so, 22 times 9 ba? Tignan natin na. O, oh, 198 naman. So, 22 times 7 ba? 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 2, 14 plus 1, 154. So, sa 7, ano? So, 150. 
54. So, 160 minus 154 is 6. Add 0, bring down 0. 60 divided by 22 is 2. 2 times 22 is 44. Oh, ito, magbabarrowing ka na naman dito, no? 6 becomes 5, and then 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. Add 0, bring down 0. So, 60, uh, 60 divided by, ay, ito pa pala yung kanina, no? 5 minus 4 is 1. So, 160 na naman. Uh, saan natin? Ito na sa 7, ano? Sa 7. O, 7 times 22, 154. So, pwede ka nang mag-stop, no? Ito, yung sagot naman ay nasa 2 decimals na. So, the answer is 37 and 27 hundreds. So, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.